Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. What? Huh? I was so excited for the bell to ring that I didn't hear my teacher calling my name. Oh. I raised my head, glanced at the long, sprawling math problem written across the whiteboard, and said, Four. Mrs. Clark stared at me for a moment, then looked over her shoulder at the number she'd written. Correct. She grabbed an eraser. That's all for today, class. No homework, so use your time to review today's lesson. The bell rang. Have a good after- I missed the noon, because by the time she finished, I was already down the hall. I'd been waiting for this moment since the day I saw the posting on the Halverson Middle School website. And now here it was. I was finally in sixth grade. I was finally going to my very first coding club meeting. I waved hello to my best friend, Anjali, as I passed her in the hall. She was rushing to film club in the opposite direction. Text me, she called out, though she didn't have to say it. I would have texted anyway. I tightened my backpack straps and took off running. I'd already picked out my seat in the computer lab. I wanted to be front and center. I was going to get started right away on an app that would help my uncle and change the world. Oof! Watch where you're going, Sophia Torres scoffed, blocking the way into the computer lab. Tall and fit, she filled the doorway when she spread her arms across it. There wasn't room for me to squeeze past. Sorry, I said, looking down at her brand new tennis shoes. I didn't want to start a fight. I just wanted her to move. Geek, Sophia muttered under her breath. It stung a bit, but I didn't care. It wasn't the first time someone had called me that, and I wasn't going to let anyone ruin coding club for me. There were a few kids at school who intimidated me, but Sophia wasn't one of them. I puffed out my chest. Shouldn't you be doing sportsy stuff or something? I was pretty sure Sophia was managing the boys' football team this fall, but we'd barely spoken in months, so I wasn't positive. She rolled her eyes at me. They were as dark as her hair. I'm taking Mondays off for this. I heard footsteps behind me. If I didn't move past Sophia immediately, other kids wouldn't be able to get into the room either. I dodged left to pass her, but she blocked my path and laughed. Come on, Soph, I said softly, calling her the nickname she'd had since preschool. You know how important this is to me. It's important to me, too, she answered. And with that, Sophia turned and hustled into the room, throwing herself into the seat I wanted. She planted her hands in front of the computer that I'd had mental dibs on. Sighing heavily, I took the seat at the end of the row and tried to ignore Sophia as the classroom filled with students. Even though we were ex-friends, there was no reason we couldn't be in coding club together. At least that's what I told myself. A bunch of other kids came into the room before Mrs. Clark arrived. She tipped her head at me. Well done, Lucy. You made it here in record time. I smiled. Mrs. Clark was my favorite teacher, and I was glad she was in charge of the club. She was born in Lebanon, went to England for college, and then came to the United States. She had such interesting stories about traveling the world and the things she did before she decided to become a teacher. Her stories almost made me want to be a teacher like her, but only almost. I was going to be a computer programmer just like my mom. Anjali always joked that my first word wasn't data, but rather data. She was probably right. Alicia Lee? Bradley Steinberg, Maddie Lewis, Mark Lewis. Mrs. Clark read off the club list. When she hit the name Maya Chung, I whipped my head around. I hadn't seen Maya come in and wondered what she was doing here. Maya was a seventh grader, and unlike Sophia, she was one of those kids who scared me. Not because she was mean, but because she was really, really cool. She was the president of the student council and wrote a fashion column for the school newspaper. I'd never talked to her 
or even made eye contact before, because honestly, what would I say?